What's up, I'm Athletes. That's right, Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, we are going to take a look at an introduction to limits in pre-calculus. So let's go ahead and start to do that. We'll take a look at limits and continuity and all sorts of things that will help you later on in courses well beyond this. So let's go. Now a limit, so you want to think about a limit as, I'm going to, I want you to write this down because this is kind of critical here. It's the height a function intends to reach, right? So it tries to get to this one value. Now, when we think about this word height here, we're referring to the y value, all right? So it's a y value. It's how high does a function try to get to? And sometimes we have really good intentions and they, we follow through with them and other times like not so much. So when we take a look at a limit, we're gonna look at this kind of format right here where you'll see this written in this kind of manner. So this is limit notation that you'll generally see in courses above Algebra 2. So when you read that, you say the limit is x approaches 2 of the function f of x. And then this part right here that's below that will be f of 2. So we want to know what is the value on the curve or on the function at x equals 2. So there are two different types of questions. So as x approaches some number, you know, some x value, our height of our function f of x is going to approach another number, potentially. So these are going to be certain values. Now, if I look at f of 2, so let me define, I'm going to put a little dot right there. I can tell on the graph that is at the point 2, comma 1. So this would have the value of 2, 1. That would be the point on that curve. Now, on this other function right here, so let me go to the middle one. This right here, there's a hole there or removal discontinuity. I don't know what's going on, but there's a hole. So we would say that doesn't exist. D-N-E you could use for that, or you could say it's undefined. That could be another way to say that because we don't know what the value is at x equals 2. There's a hole there. I got nothing. Now, on this third one, check this one out. If I look at 2, even though we have a hole right here, the function is defined. So we've got, and I'll just abbreviate that R-D for removal discontinuity. We do have an x value for two, we have a corresponding y value. And that y value is three. So two comma three is a point. Now that point's not on the curve, which is kind of weird. That's really weird. So that is an idea that you'll explore a little bit more when we get into continuity. But when you look at the limit, you're like, okay. So f of two, oh wait, forgot to fill that in. That has a value of three. So when we look at continuity, that's a little bit different than uh, limits. All right, so those will be some ideas that we talk about throughout this section. So let's take a look at the limit. Now, the left side, so I'm going to come in from the left, and I'm going to come in from the right, and both of those are going to meet at that x value where it's 2. So the height of that spot, the height there, is 1. Now, notice, since the limit and the function is defined, since both of these are the same value, then that function would be what we say continuous. Now, this one right here, let's go to the middle one, because we'll go back to one for a second. You can pick your pencil up and draw that whole curve without falling through a hole, a manhole, or we uh, have a jump or anything like that. So let's take a look at this second one, the one here in the middle. Now, again, the left side, we're coming in, we're approaching from the left, and we get to this value of one. We come in from the right, and we get to that same, they both meet at the same location. So again, that value is going to be one. However, the function is not defined there, so this one is not, this function is not necessarily continuous. So that's not continuous there because a the function has to be defined at a particular x value, and whatever that output is, whatever that y value is, the limit has to be that same thing. Now, over for example number three, again, both of these meet at the same location, right? If I come in from the left side and I come in from the right side, I get to that value, that y value, the height there, that limit from the left and right is going to be one. However, the function is not defined. It doesn't, that kind of dot that's above it, that's not the same thing. And you can clearly see one and three are not the same values. So this function is also not continuous. All right, so that is going to be something that we take a look at. So continuous function, the limit exists as a function. And the limit approaches the same value as f of x. So that's a fancy way of saying y. So um, whatever those two things are, they're going to be the same. Now, discontinuous function, the limit could exist or it could not exist 
as a function. Or I'm sorry, the limit will exist, yeah. So the limit could exist as a function. However, it, it's got a di it, it has a different value. The function is defined differently than whatever that limit is. So let's take a look at these four examples here, down here in this section. We got eight problemas. So we got these guys right here, and then uh, that'll be a wrap. So uh, let's go ahead and start rolling, 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 shall we? So let's take a look at the first one. Limit as x approaches one. So if I come in from the left side and I come in from the right side, even though there's a hole there, they both get to that same y value, and that y value is negative one. So your answers are always going to be y values. Now, the limits, let's go to, over to number two. If I look at f of negative 3, so negative 3 is over here. And notice again, from the left side and the right side, even though it comes in that cusp right there, that y value is positive 1. So they both meet at positive 1. Now, this is where you got to be careful. Ooh, I went limit on that. Nope, mm, made a boo-boo. you got to be careful of that because that's not the limit. That's actually asking you what is it defined. So that, my friends, is the value of, what's that y value right there? Zero. So f of negative 3 is 0, not 1. So you got to be careful. Make sure you read that. Common mistake, bro. Everybody makes them. So let's clean that up when we do and just fix it. Now the limit as x approaches 2. So again, at 2, at x equals 2. On the left side, I come in that way. On the right side, I come in that way. Both of those meet at the value of 2. Now f of 2, ooh, that's up here. I'm not going to fall for that one again. f of 2, that y value is 3. So that takes care of numbers 2 and 4. And then let's take a look at five and six, because both of those are going to be, what is the y value? So when f is one, so when I look here at when the x value is one, the y value is negative one. But wait, there's a hole there. Oh my gosh. So it's not negative one. Be careful. Don't fall for that trap. It does not exist because it is not defined. It's undefined right there. So be careful, suckers, because a lot of people will fall for that. So that is not defined because f of one does not exist. We got a hole there. Now, at f equals negative 2 again, now we've got this point up here at 3. So f of negative 2, or ooh, that's positive 2. Let's go over to negative 2. Negative 2 has a value right there of positive 2. Now, when I look at number 7 and 8, both of these are dealing with the limit. So I got to look at the left side and the right side. So let's take a look at 0. So the left side, boop, I go in there and I come down towards negative 2. On the right side, I approach and I still get negative 2. I, they both meet at the same location. So the limit as that approaches 0 of fx is negative 2. And then lastly, let's take a look at negative 3. x equals negative 3. So when I approach the function from the left side and the right side, that's that cusp again. So both of those approach and they intend to get to 1. However, they fall through. That function is not defined there because it's defined to be 3. So in that particular case, f of x would not be defined at, or would not be continuous at x equals negative 3. All right. Now, last but not least, let's uh, go and do that. And you can always abbreviate, does not exist, DNE. That's cool. Now, f of negative 2. So again, once you hit pause, try these on your own, and then come back and check yourself before you wreck yourself. See how you did. All right. How did you all do? So there are your answers for numbers one through eight. Now, later on in some other courses, because I know we were talking about, you know, uh, coming in from the left side and the right side. So let me kind of give you a little bit of preview on that. So sometimes let's just take a look at number three here. The limit as x approaches negative two. So if I come in from the left side, you'll see that denoted like this. Limit as x approaches negative two. But if you're coming in from the left, you'll have a little almost exponent that looks like a minus sign of f of x. Now, if you were coming in from the right side, then instead of that exponent being a negative sign, you would say the limit as x approaches negative 2, but you'd have plus for an exponent. So when you come in from the left side or right side, and later on, we'll evaluate those individually, and that you'll have that little denotation. So an exponent of a plus or a minus sign will be what makes you look at only that one side. But if it's just the number there, like we have in number three, x approaches negative two, you want to take a look at both the left side and the right side. All right, so that's it for this video. So you got some homework that's coming at your way. So you guys should be rocking through on that. So thank you guys for watching. Make it a great day as always, because there's simply go no good reason not to. I'll catch up with you soon, my mathletes. Peace out, Cub Scouts.